The Honourable Leader of the New Democratic Party. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. Well, Mr. Speaker, as we know, yesterday's budget has left Nova Scotians um, in the screen industry reeling and in panic mode, Mr. Speaker. Today we learned this hour has 22 minutes, a show in its 23rd season, Canada's longest running comedy produced entirely here in Nova Scotia is leaving the province due to this government's misguided budget. Mr. Speaker, the studio that produces 22 minutes, DHX Media has decided to close its doors, throwing 155 people out of work. Mr. Speaker, can the Premier explain to all of those people at DHX and throughout the province's film industry why he thinks they're not worth investing in? The Honourable Premier. Mr. Speaker, I, I completely disagree with the leader of the New Democratic Party's entire question and the Prime Minister she put around it, Mr. Speaker. Of course we believe, Mr. Speaker, that the industry is worth investing in. Mr. Speaker, it's why we didn't get rid of the film tax credit, Mr. Speaker. What we changed, Mr. Speaker, was the fact that you applied it against the taxes you paid in this province. Mr. Speaker, they stand on that side of the house time after time asking us to invest more in health care more in education, looking after most vulnerable Nova Scotians, Mr. Speaker. And we believe we have a responsibility to do that as a government, Mr. Speaker. But in order to do that, Mr. Speaker, if we're going to use taxpayers' money, it should be applied against taxes paid in Nova Scotia. The Honourable Leader of the New Democratic Party on our first supplementary. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Well, Mr. Speaker, in 2013, this Premier seduced the creative sector into voting for him by promising to extend the media tax credit for an additional five-year period. And well, Mr. Speaker, the film industry is feeling a little jilted today, Mr. Speaker, because this Premier has decided to cut the tax, leaving 2,000 people in jeopardy, Mr. Speaker. So can the Premier please explain to those who are feeling betrayed why he failed to mention in his campaign promise to extend the tax credit that he also intended to gut it. The Honourable Premier. Mr. Speaker, I want to uh, uh, remind the Honourable Member we did not cut the tax credit, Mr. Speaker. What we've done, Mr. Speaker, is we made it a true tax credit where you apply it against the taxes you pay in the province of Nova Scotia. On top of that, Mr. Speaker, we broadened a fund made available to the creative economy, Mr. Speaker, from recording artists to publishers, Mr. Speaker. Those are all positive things. We're looking forward to continuing to work uh, with the creative economy to continue to move this province forward. The Honourable Leader of the New Democratic Party on her final supplementary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I don't think the Premier really understands how the credit worked and why it was so important to the industry and what a tool it was in order to raise capital for their productions, Mr. Speaker. Yesterday, the chair of Screen Nova Scotia said a program that once made Nova Scotia competitive with all of North America is now puts us at the bottom of the list. Mr. Speaker, I want to ask the Premier, what analysis did he and his Minister of Finance have that justified taking away this industry's competitive edge? And would he table it, please? The Honourable Premier. Because the reality of it is, Mr. Speaker, as, as the credit was going up, we were actually getting less and less of the national business, Mr. Speaker. The reality is we were paying more and getting less business in the province as a percentage of what was happening in Canada. The reality of it is, Mr. Speaker, in order to deliver services to the people of this province, tough decisions have to be made. We are, Mr. Speaker, we're continuing to work with people who are going to move this province forward. The credit is available as it was the day before, and it will apply directly against the taxes you pay in the province. 